Stalagmites! Destroy them! Free me! Trapped us in here. The salt. Wondrous. Understand? It can't escape. Hmm. Let it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt. Perfect for a specter. Clever. But I... I feel it in me, still. So long now. Uh, help me, brother. Give me the potion! To expel it, at last! Been down here a while. Have any idea how long? Years. Decades. Time stands still here. Nothing ever changes, brother. Nothing. Longer than that, Reynold. Lots. Gotta understand, you should be dead by now, right? Only thing keeping your body alive is the miasmal? All the more reason to end this. You can do that. The potion. Please. Found your letters. To Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasmal would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool. But what's past is past. Lambert, a snake, never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend, I believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me? No. Just got the sneaking suspicion I'm not talking to Reynold right now. Not half bad, your ruse. But don't take me for a fool. But don't you understand? It will take control of me. It will kill you and all those you... you... Uh... No! Destroy it! Drink the potion! Finish what I... what I started! Oh, I will, Reynold. Just hold on a little longer. This mine. Oh, but I will. You are the weaker witcher. I'll kill you, then spread through your viscera, invade your mind. to deal with the miasmal. 
died centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasmal. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. I can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasmal. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself, like all witchers at Kaer Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor, like all witchers at Kaer Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of... When exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm... That was... 970... Or no... 80... I... I can't recall... Damn memories are foggy... Fractured... Reynold... That's more than 300 years past... 300... No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osman himself would have come. Shit. I'm sorry. 
My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices, torches, wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. How did it happen that you came to be trapped with the miasmal? Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though. They panicked, sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist, or, or called for another witcher, anything. And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine, all forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm-hmm, I saw. My Asmal tried to impersonate a Witcher earlier. You the real, Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin. They'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were gonna discuss them when we met at Kermoran. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left-hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep. You're free of the Spectre, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre, as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word for my peace of mind. Why? Aim to have a theological debate? What'll a few words change? Let it go, Reynold. No. Aim to look him in the eyes. Ask him how his religion looks upon those who condemn a man to death and damnation. This kid? He's got no ties to the clerics who sealed you in here centuries ago. Can you offer me them in his stead? No. <laughs> Thought not.
So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom! How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I... I, I had no idea. Ray... Reynold... I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, Hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal Fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Found the remains of a priest down here. Clearly chose to stay. Didn't abandon the sick in their time of need. Is he a criminal? A hypocrite? Mm, and who sealed him inside? Ghouls? Trolls? To red miasmal itself? No. The very same church of the eternal fucking fire. Look at him. He's a child. What crimes has he committed? Forgot the verse of a hymn? Snuck a sweet roll while fasting? Believing the word of hypocrites, his sole transgression. This kid, this priest, treats witchers like humans. A rare specimen. More. An endangered species. Well, in fact, the church holding mutants in low regard, it's an error, a misconception. Scripture states, um, respect and cherish every living creature. Hmm, respect for life is demonstrated here. As, as the prior says, he says, Oh, confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but, but now, knowing of this travesty. The church must protect the weak, foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is, what shall I do? Where shall I go? Fantastic. A crisis of faith. You just weak, or is this real regret? Truths you've learned here. What'll you do with them? You're a hero. Prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! Ah, a hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. You may lack the will to fight, but I know one who doesn't. Don't need a church at your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye, true. So right, witch... uh... Witches! I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted a red miasmal for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. 
The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world... Here! Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former Deacon. And good luck with your search. Now to find Osman's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kaer Morin. Many thanks, Witcher. On behalf of the Church of the Eternal Fire, and myself. Slower. Let's go! Said if I'm good, she'll send me on the trailer treats.
closer. Don't be shy. You'll find I've everything. White one. Listening, what do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why would you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Still seems like your fault to me. Will you let me finish? All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. 
the things too. I found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. I went to find the bugger to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Though as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Your wife is with the crones as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches. Bloody nightmare. Sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter. Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men, go there and retrieve Anna. 
We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were! You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. He fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where.
She mounted and rode off. We grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What the? Dare you! Escape I'm sorry, I knew this never it. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Oh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, oh, quit your carping, smart ass. Someone wagered him, and we played. If anyone was desperate, he was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hilarious. Real side splitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny fart. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. 
I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Over. 